Welcome, fellow viewers. Today we finally reach the conclusion of Power Rangers, the top seven best seasons list. I hope you're ready, because it's more fun. To recap, number seven was Power Rangers Zeo, number six was Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, number five was Power Rangers SPD, number three was Power Rangers, oh sorry, number four was Power Rangers Mystic Force, number three was Power Rangers in Space, number two was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and now, the moment you've been waiting for. Number one is But why? Why is Power Rangers Time Force the best season? Because it goes against every standard you expect for Power Rangers. Whenever you go into a Power Rangers show, it's hard to expect that much. Aside from a bit of substance. I mean, even the shows on this list haven't really blown, you know, blown it out of the water. Usually there are standards for Power Rangers, meaning, yes, when you go into it, if you want to enjoy it, you have to accept that the dialogue won't be great, the acting won't be very good, and that many of the fight scenes and the costumes and the villains are going to be cheesy and not very good. But, honestly, all those expectations were sort of... I don't know, gone after watching Time Force. It felt like it was almost too good to be a Power Rangers show, to be honest. Power Rangers Time Force was the only time that Power Rangers ever focused on a time travel element. I don't know why they're still working on a dinosaur element to the show for the zillionth time when they could be doing more time travel or more magic, as in the case with Mystic Force. But, I don't know, it's just... Power Rangers Time Force, despite being a kid show, had a lot of substance and a lot of adult morals to it. For instance, the show's entire plot was essentially a metaphor for prejudice. I especially loved Ransack as a villain. Ransack was the type of villain who would do absolutely anything for his daughter. Part of what I loved about him was there was an episode where his daughter fell in love with one of the Power Rangers, and instead of actually trying to go to the Power Ranger and say, stay away from my daughter, Ransack actually decided for once to help the Power Ranger out on his date, so that way he actually he wouldn't break his daughter's heart and you know by accident or you know unintentionally. Ransack really was a great villain, and I especially loved how the only reason he surrendered was because his daughter sort of you know convinced him to. It really was a great subplot, and I'm glad they went with it. What I especially loved about Power Rangers. 
Time Force, though, was the character development. Just about every character I loved. Especially Wes and Jen. Oh, God. This, oh, God, I feel so sad after talking about Wes and Jen. The scene where they have to say goodbye was absolutely tragic. Jen honestly should have been the Red Ranger. I know it's customary for, you know, a female to be a Pink Ranger, but, you know, seriously, she was just so good. And Wes was also really good as well. Wes at first came off as an arrogant rich kid, but throughout the end of the series, he became one of the most likable characters on the show, which is part of what I really liked about this. You see, at the beginning of this miniseries, or season, or whatever you consider it, the characters are completely different than how they are at the very end of the season. For instance, <clears throat> Jen. Jen, at first, is the most skeptical of Wes, yet towards the end, she ends up falling in love with him. I really, really love this. And every other character, such as Katie, who started off, you know, kind of being willing to do whatever she wanted, and then towards the end, sort of being more cautious because she was afraid that that might affect her family's timeline. This really, really was a great season, and you could tell that many of the scenes, such as the final scene at the beach where Jen says goodbye to Wes, inspired uh, New Doctor Who, which would later come out in 2005, with the whole Rose Tyler leaving the Doctor type of thing. Well, she didn't leave the Doctor, but the Doctor sort of had to say goodbye to her because she got trapped in another dimension. Also, it should be noted that the final episode of Time Force was called The End of Time, which was also the end of David uh, Tennant's run. Another, there I could go all day uh, talking about how great Time Force was and talk about all other elements such as the great, absolutely amazing scene where Wes's dad stands up to Ransick and talks to him about how proud he is of his son for not sticking to what he wanted and actually following his own path. That was amazing. And I also loved how, towards the beginning of the season, Wes is sort of skeptical of his father, and he thinks his father is this big jerk. Yet, towards the end of the season, he realizes that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Overall, this was an amazing season, and I wish there were more Power Rangers seasons like it. In fact, the acting, I this, is one, this might be the only time where I can actually say that the acting was phenomenal in a Power Rangers season. Yeah, that's right. And the best part is Jen. I, it's just impossible not to love Jen. I mean, she's just amazing. Absolutely freaking amazing. And I, I hate to say this, but I did like her better than Kimberly. Yeah, that's how far I went. Yes, yeah, she's a better Pink Ranger than Kimberly, in my opinion. Yeah, that's how far I just went. There was originally supposed to be a movie for Time Force, but unfortunately, they decided not to do it due to the failure of Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. Which is really a shame, because a Power Rangers Time Force movie would have been phenomenal, especially with a bigger budget. Again, there are a lot of other things I could say, but I'll just leave you on one last note, which is a theory that a lot of fans have about Power Rangers Time Force and Power Rangers SPD. You see, Power Rangers Time Force and Power Rangers SPD both take place in, you know, the future. You see, Power Rangers Time Force basically res uh, revolves around a team of people who go back to the past from the year 3000 and they go 999 years back to the year 2001. There they meet Wes 
and you know, and towards the end, and throughout the, and they end up working with him, and Wes becomes the Red Ranger, and they need to find Rancic, and throughout the end, uh, Wes and Jen fall in love, but Jen can't be with him. Uh, later in Wild Force, uh, Wes and Jen later reunited in the year 2002, because that's when the uh, uh, Wild Force came out. And the end of the episode basically showed them together, but it's not known whether she actually went back to the future once again or stayed with Wes in the year 2002. There are many theories about it, but the, uh, the producers have said it's really up to the fans to decide. They, the point of that ending was that it's supposed to leave that for interpretation. Now, there is one interesting theory. You see, SPD actually takes place in the year 2025. And the rumor is that if Jen did stay back with Wes, maybe she got pregnant and she ended up having um, Sky, who's my favorite character on SPD, which would make sense because Sky does mention that his father was a ranger and a great one. So, yeah, it would really make sense. But personally, my favorite theory is that she went, is that she spent six months. There was somebody that suggested this on Wiki that she spent six months with Wes and then went back to the future, learned that she was pregnant with his baby and decided to give birth to it. And decided to raise it uh, to be, you know, the best ranger like, uh, you know, like his father. Uh, I really like that theory, but I guess that's up for interpretation. But yeah, Power Rangers Time Force is, in my opinion, the best Power Rangers season so, yeah, so far. That is my top seven list of the best Power Rangers seasons. Let me know in the comment section below what your seven favorite Power Rangers seasons are, and I'm out.